You must understand that love never keeps a man from pursuing his destiny. If he abandons that pursuit, it's because it wasn't true love. The love that speak the language of the world. My dear father and brothers, a wonderful good evening to you all. Good evening, good evening. Good evening brother. Today, I welcome you all for the ninth day of Novena in honor of our founder, St. Vincent Paloti. And today, we are reflecting on the theme, Paloti, a lover of humanity. During this novena, we pray for all the families who are in need of God's grace. With these thoughts, let us begin our novena by welcoming Holy Trinity into our midst. Let's all kneel.
your heart went out in the sympathy for the incurable, the helpless and the broken hearted. Lord Jesus, we place before your throne of mercy our various needs, our anxieties and aspirations. We offer them through the intercession of St. Vincent Paloti, your servant. Lord, we beg you to accept them and impart to us your blessing. God is love. God so loved the world. If you want to be my disciple, take up my cross. Those who are heavy burden, come to me. I will give you the rest. Today we are all in the presence of God and God out of his mercy and grace and love for his people God sent his only begotten son into this world <coughs> to transform our lives from sinful state and to be united and to encounter his only beloved son who is enthroned in our midst in the form of the sacrament. <coughs> Jesus calling you and me to come into his presence. If you come with worries and suffering, God is telling you that he loves you. Any time of your life, if you feel that nobody loves you, you feel that you are rejected, believe that God loves you. If you think that on your journey nobody is there to accompany you, believe that God is with you. <coughs> with these thoughts in our mind, Believing God's providence that God loves us. Let us sing this bhajan. Sunny, the name of the 
it can change the heart of any sinner let us now listen to the word of god A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 15, verses 12 to 17. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends. If you do what I command you, I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have <coughs> called you friends because I have made known to you everything <coughs> that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. The most important part of the language that all the world spoke and the language that everyone was capable of understanding in their heart, it is love. Dear Father and my, my dear brothers, greetings to you in Christ Jesus. Today we are on the last day of Novena and tomorrow we are going to celebrate <coughs> as a family <coughs> As a Palotan family, the feast of our founder, St. Vincent Paloti. From day one to yesterday, we reflected on the different themes in the life of Paloti. And all the themes will point out to the today's theme that is Paloti, a lover of humanity. Love is a beautiful expression in action. And going through the life of Paloti, we can learn. 3 H formula that is firstly first H means help secondly humility and thirdly honor your father mother and your elders Paloti quotes in the, in the writings of the Paloti we can see he who don't help his neighbor in his needs is guilty of serious sin Paloti, as a young man, used to spend his summer vacation with, the, with his family in Fenskati, as a town about 20 kilometers away from Rome. His aunt, Candita, who was dear to him and his brothers, lived there. As soon as he reached Fenskati, his friends used to gather around him, and he used to share his fruits and all that he has and once seeing a poor man who is not having shoes Paloti has taken out his new shoes and had given to the person who is in need <coughs> this is one of the instances from the life of Paloti where he went out from his self need to the need of the other here we can ask a question to ourselves how much we are responding to the needs of the other are we willing to give that is so dear to us, to someone who are in need, we should think about. And secondly, humility. It is the fact that in a soul which lacks true humility, no true charity is found. Because the more perfect charity is, the more humble one is. 
Vincent's zeal kept him with his apostolate. Once while he was running <coughs> towards the church of Santa Maria, he was stopped by an old priest who stopped him. You should stop your running and arrive early morning in the church. You lazy bone, putting on your air of virtuousness, <coughs> Vincent lowered his head, his eyes, with saying a no word, and went on to the church and thanked God for the humiliation he <coughs> received in public. <coughs> so many times in our lives too, if we come across any humiliation, our tendency, we react to that. We don't want to take corrections from anyone because it hurts our self-esteem. But Paloti thanks God for, his, for the gift of humiliation. He says that God, you have given me a wonderful gift to be humble enough before others. Are we ready to take <coughs> the corrections openly? Are we ready to accept our mistakes and say that I know that I will obey my elders? <coughs> Thirdly, honor your parents and elders. <coughs> Let us remember that in, our, in order to enter the kingdom of heaven, we should become the images of Christ. In Proverbs 6, chapter 6, verses 20 to 21, we read, My son, keep your father's commandment and forsake not your mother's teaching. Maria Magdalena G. Rossi, the mother of our founder St. Vincent Paloti, <coughs> she always kept her serenity even in the midst of suffering and was full of love towards Jesus and Mary, which she incul inculcated also in ten, ch ten children. She fell ill and suffered a much for three years. And then on 19th July 1827, in the presence of her, sorrowful children and husband, she breathed her last. After some days, Vincent announced the very entry of her soul into heaven. From childhood downwards, Paloti had a great love towards his parents. He is to help his parents. And Maria Magdalene D. Rossi was the one who was always with him, teaching him to read the word of God, encouraging him to pray to our blessed mother. And I believe this is the same thing happened in our childhood too. And I strongly believe that our parents have taught, taught, taught us how to be closely related to Jesus. They encouraged us to go for the Mass early in the morning. They encouraged us to go and <coughs> pray Rosary in front of the Blessed Mother Mary. Dear brothers, are we doing the same thing that our parents have taught us? Paloti listening to the teachings and commandments of their parents, he became a good priest and today he is a saint and he is our founder. I am not asking you to become saints or apostles, but you should try yourselves to become holy as, as, as much as we can in our lives. So let us take these three points to help others who are in need, to be humble enough to take corrections and to obey the commandments with humble heart and honor our parents and elders. Amen. We should always be animated by, by the spirit of love. That all with love, look on all with love, think of all with love, speak to all with love. Let's all kneel for the Novena prayer. Almighty and ever living God, 
You glorify Jesus in Saloji, and in any of the powers and sets of We come before you with our petitions, and place before you all our needs and cares. We declare our readiness to accept whatever you send us. Trusting in your divine providence, we cast ourselves and like Jesus in Saloji, in your loving arms, seeking your protection. For God of all consolations, have our compassion for all those who suffer and are in need. We beg you today to reduce the sin of St. Vincent Malodi, to bless all our families with peace and prosperity. Convert our families into homes, where you are a master, live with and rule. Send your Holy Spirit into our families and expel from them all quarrels and divisions, jealousies and suspicions. May our families be the lords of Christian virtues, especially in the Latin May they become the sources of sacred creation and the readiness of souls for the Church. Above all, we place before you this our special name. The Most Holy Trinity, why unity? As we are moving to an end of the Novena to our Holy Founder, we urge you to reunite all the broken families <coughs> and for the families where misunderstanding is all the more. In your kindness, help these families and let the example of the Holy Family at Nazareth be their model. O oh, Glorious, Send me send me send me to the Lord, and let the rest all the graces we ask for. Merciful Father, since we still glorify you before men while we are on earth, now glorify him by answering his prayers on our behalf. May his prayer rise to the Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth thy sin is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And the day is not a patient, but deliver us from evil. Prayer to the Queen of the Apostles. <coughs> Immaculate Mother of God, Queen, Queen of the Apostles, you pray together with the disciples of the Lord, and you are praying for them the Holy Spirit. We are able, O oh, Most Holy Virgin, to believe in your Son, to send His Spirit upon us, and make us apostles, filled with the and triumphy of Jesus. O Divine Mother, we declare that we just employ all the energies and talents to promote faith and charity among all people, so that all may be one day, one flock, and one of Jesus Christ. We look forward to the glory in heaven, where we will enjoy the vision of your Son, together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, reigning in glory forever. Amen. Hail Mary. Full of Lord, grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of you, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, Queen of the Apostles, pray for us. Litany of St. Vincent Paloti. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ hear us. Christ Jesus hear us. God the Father, Creator of the universe, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, Life Giver and Sanctifier, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, Model of Perfect Communion, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Mary, Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Holy Mary, Mother of Divine Love, pray for us. Saint Vincent, Apostle of Rome, pray for us. Saint Vincent, Founder of Lay Apostolate, pray for us. Saint Vincent, Healer of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Vincent, Friend of the Poor, pray for us. Saint Vincent, Teacher of the Ignorant, pray for us. Saint Vincent, Lover of Souls, pray for us. Saint Vincent, Most Obedient, pray for us. Saint Vincent, model of purity, pray for us. 
Saint Vincent, symbol of humility. Pray for us. Saint Vincent, prophet of God. Pray for us. Saint Vincent, example of prayer. Pray for us. Saint Vincent, patron of the dying. Pray for us. Saint Vincent, devoted child of Mary. Pray for us. Saint Vincent, the wonder worker. Pray for us. Saint Vincent, silent sufferer. Pray for us. Saint Vincent, helper of the youth. Pray for us. Saint Vincent, friend in every need. Pray for us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, O oh God, you are glorified in your saints and are pleased to respond to their prayers. We humbly beseech you, look upon your children and grant us the petitions we make through the intercession of Saint Vincent Balodi, your servant. Give all the graces we need. Help us to attain health of mind and body. Lead us to eternal joy in heaven where you live and reign God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the 22nd General Assembly. O God, God, God infinite love, senses and poverty, more by our God's love, love, love gave us completely, completely, so that throughout the world, faith and charity would grow, grow. Look at you, our brother and family, as the society of the Catholic Apostle prepares for the 22nd General Assembly, in unity of heart and purpose. In this time of great difficulty and of abundant possibility to pay your oscillate, while our society is in the difficulty of new situations, strengthen our faith in Christ, our host of the eternal Father, and the one and only universal Savior, since the life of the Holy Spirit, to help us in our weakness and make us desire for the new opportunity. So that we may be served the children of the mortals and do our will in all things. Teach us to extend our arms to all those for whom the society, moved by compassion, fulfill its mission to revive faith and bring it and respond to the challenges of the new times. Lord, in your name, we are in the service of quality to form the society and the union of the Catholic we ask you to appreciate them now with the gifts of the heart, of the mind, and of the spirit. May they be all one in you, in holiness and in love, so that we can understand your will and be able to follow it with constancy and faith. We ask you to the intercession of Mary, Queen of the Apostles, of our holy founders, as a Christian philosophy, of our blessed martyrs, and our blessed ancestors, and sons. O our way from the middle of your face. Amen. As we heard that we should always be animated by the spirit of love. We should always look on with love, think on all with love, and speak on all with love. Let's all with humble submission. Let us proceed for the benediction. Can you take the number M5? Spirit, try your God and be 
Not the 
As it was in the beginning, it is and ever shall be, world without the end. Amen. Pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us.